In this tip, I'm talking about not helping the shot. So this was a huge, huge, huge breakthrough for me. It was back in 1999. That is the moment I stopped trying to help the club hit the ball. All right, so if you followed me for any period of time, you will know I want powerless arms in your down and through swing. We are hitting the ball with our body, not our arms. So we're gonna coil up, we're gonna set our top of the backswing right here. We are not gonna try to pull the club down. That would be hitting. Or what I used to do for all those years, and I was hitting it everywhere, right here, I was tr always trying to help my club hit the ball. I was trying to accelerate it at the ball. The day I stopped doing that was the day I went from sideways to straight. Felt totally weird, felt different. Felt like my club was slowing down when it hit the ball because I was always here trying to accelerate it. So if you stop doing that, swing feels a lot slower. That is when I got that effortless look to my swing. So right here, instead of trying to hit it and look like I'm, you know, swinging really hard, I literally just did nothing. I just let it go wherever it wants to go. So I stopped helping my shots. So I know there's a lot of people out there trying to do the exact same thing. So I want you to be aware of that. And you'll know if you keep coming here trying to hit that ball or accelerate the club. The problem with doing that is that you can go like this because you're trying to help it. You can lock your wrists. You can hold the face open, creating a slice. You could do a chicken wing because you're trying to hit. The muscles contract. With irons, like this, if you're trying to help it, so you're here, you get to here, you try to help, now you might have too much shaft lean. Problem with that is your club is too short now as it goes to hit the ball, so you're gonna hit thin and top shots. Again, holding it like that would create an open face as well, and you start getting, you know, shots that with slice spin on them. All right, so a lot of things can happen by helping the shot. I don't want you to think like that, okay? I'm not thinking here like trying to hit that ball in any way. And remember, pre-1999, I was. So I know the exact moment I stopped doing that and the dramatic effect it had on my swing. So to this day, I try to not help the shot because I want to hit it nice and straight all the time. All right, so if you're someone that's helping it, then I need you to get that thought out of your mind, okay? We've got to think differently. So easy way to get this thought is we're going to swing back. This is point A to your swing. You're not going to be here trying to hit the ball because if you think like that, you're making the ball point B. Okay, the ball is not point B. Point B is way over here in your follow through. So you're gonna move from A to B. And as the club comes down and into this area right here, you don't wanna give it extra. Stop helping the shot. Okay, like I said, if you do that, it will feel like your club is slowing down. It's not, but it feels like that because you're not giving it extra. We're gonna get the power through the hinging and rehinging of our wrists. So you stop helping it. I know, it looks effortless. Okay, you get the power because this is going to release easier and freer into the future. You're not helping, you're not giving it extra, running the risk of locking everything up. All right, so I want you to kind of get that thought. We're gonna go from A over here. You know where B is, it's over here, okay? 
So you've got to find a point B. You're going to go from A smoothly over to your follow through position. Now, when the club is coming down, you're not going to give it extra. You're just going to let it go wherever it wants to go. All right, so you got to get used to a new feeling. That's basically what this is about. You don't need to hit it with your arms. All right, if I can just look like I'm barely swinging at it and get some serious speed, then there's a different way to do it. And I am certainly not sitting here trying to hit it as hard as I can. I'm just letting the club go wherever it wants to go, trying to not hit it. I know, that's backwards, right? Everybody wants to hit. I'm telling you to not hit. And I have just recently seen that there's a whole bunch of other people starting to teach people that. <laughs> the thing that I've been teaching <laughs> for over 30 years. They're telling you to not hit the ball. Yeah, <laughs> we're not trying to hit anything. You're just making a move, let it go. I'm telling you, you stop hitting the ball, you will hit it so much more solidly and straighter than you've ever hit it in your life. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. Here's another tip that's gonna help you improve your swing. Now, right below that, don't forget to click on that link because I'm gonna send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that'll take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing.